Could the days be gone when those who pay their taxes are the ones that get punished by more taxes and those who don't pay go scot free? This is the promise now made by the new permanent secretary to the treasury, Ramadan Gobi. In this, we are going to enforce more compliance instead of introducing new taxes. My minister will announce the actual measures that we are going to undertake to increase revenue without increasing the tax burden on the typical groups of taxpayers. Because we have discovered that most of these taxes fall on the same people. So you are like punishing those who are compliant while those who are avoiding or evading, they are getting away with it. So we are more on compliance now. He was giving the keynote address during the 5th NTV Economic Summit today at Serena Hotel, Kampala. Top on his agenda is to stop the growing public debt organically. First, as a country, we are going to learn to live within our means. We are going to stop budgeting incrementally. That points to budget reform. We are saying that the winners in our budget should gain by taking from losers rather than claiming incremental resources. This is the disease that causes endless borrowing. In order to spur the struggling private sector and make sure that the economy does not close again, vaccination is this time around a socioeconomic tool. We are going to do everything possible to ensure that vaccines are procured and also they reach every corner of Ugandans. Secondly, we are also going to spend on stimulus packages as well as payment of domestic areas in order to boost aggregate demand and support businesses to restart. Tourism, education, logistics and manufacturing presented their needs for further consideration. In the all thing is the national payment switch owned by government that will aim to reduce the cost of digitally moving money. Aaron Mukama, NTV.